Okay, good day everyone. So for today, this would be our topic. So property management system. So this would be your last laboratory activity for this subject. Okay, so for today's discussion, this would be our learning outcomes to understand the function and importance of BMS in hotel operation. Okay, so what is BMS? So, a lot of you already familiar with this one. So, PMS, Property Management System. So, it is a software that facilitates a hotel reservation management and administrative task. It is also the, the hotel external and internal operations in terms of facilitating the main processes in the hotel. So, the most important function of PMS includes front desk operations, reservations, um, channel management, uh, housekeeping information, rate and occupancy management, payment processing, and even forecasting. So, although PMS software mostly controls reservation and financial transaction, uh, PMS allows the hotel or the management to manage the housekeeping and perform human resources management as well. So, in general, PMS facilitates the main processes in a hotel related to the internal and external operations. Okay, so why is it that PMS is required? Okay, so PMS is required for the hotel staff for the following reason. It integrates all critical operations of the hotel in one flat platform. So basically, dali lang siya makita. For example, if busy ka ayo ang operations, na idaghang reservations, na idaghang check in, na idaghang check out, and then makita na dito sa PMS kung unsa to ang mga vacant na mga rooms, unsa to ang mga rooms ang mo check out and then mo check in. Second, it provides real-time information on accommodations, reservation, restaurants, spas, bus, and about every working arm in the hotel. So, it provides real-time information on the mga different departments in the hotel. So, in, in PMS, you'll be able to see if unsa to ang mga charges nga na post dito sa usaka guest. Like, for example, ika on siya sa restaurant. Okay, so makita dito nga ni ka na na, na siya na incur nga na food in the morning. So ma charge siya dito. Okay, mo na siya ang mo na siya ang importance sa PMS and why is it required in the hotel? Third, it provides highly accurate information which is helpful for the management to plan new goals and handles the investment in a better way. So aside from providing information on the Kanabitang informations in the hotel, kung nisa nila ha mga guests, it also provide accurate information like um, forecasting demand, like forecasting kung pila ang ilahang occupancy rate, pila ang ilahang average daily rate, and also it helps them determine kung ano nga specific na date or ano nga specific nga month, ma-offer ba sila discounts? Like, for example, dili ron peak season. So, ma-determine nila nga, ma-delete peak season na so pwede ta makahatag of discounts. And at the same time, ma-determine po nila if katong ilang paghatag of discount, babawi ba to nila ini ka peak season na. Okay? And then, the next one, it boosts the efficiency of the front office staff and in turn maximizes the performance of the hotel's business. And then, it simplifies the time-taking or complex operations otherwise done manually. So, again, dili kay siya makonsume og time since dili naman ka mag-manually og suwat-suwat. Dili naman ka mag-manually og okay since just have to search the name of the guest. You just have to search the information you needed and then na na siya. Okay? So, di na ka mag-dig pagdaghan ng mga papel. And lastly... It works for the convenience of the hotel staff, managing body, as well as the guests. So again, um, convenience siya since the information is already been there. You just have to search it. And also, uh, the information is kwan siya, kanabitang sakto. Okay? Kaya ang tendency mag manual since sa imuhang pagdinali. So, na mga information nga ma-miss. But in the PMS, dili una siya. Since 
the information is already been put there. Labi na og ka ng pabalik-balik na nag-guest. So, naan na gudiha ang information na ka-built in na gudiha sa inyo ang PMS. Okay? So, those are those are the reason why is it that PMS is required in a hotel. Now, let's there is two type of PMS. Local PMS and cloud, cloud PMS. So, local PMS, they have large technical requirement such as workstation, uh, computer workstation, a data saver, thermal service, operating system, network cards, a removable backup system. While cloud PMS, they mainly need computer workstation and internet connection. Okay, so to understand more about this type of PMS, let us differentiate these two. So, in terms of availing the PMS, local PMS is that owner needs to purchase the PMS hardware and software. While the local PMS, um, the owner needs to take subscri subscription from the PMS vendor. Okay, so mo na siya difference. Like sa ang local, na yung kaibang kaugalingon ng hardware and software. While ang cloud, subscription lang. Mubayad lang kaniya. Like for example, monthly ba, annual ba. So, software na siya, na ano siya sa... Pareha ba ang inyong i-avail like Netflix, di ba? Sa so, subscription ma lang siya. So, yung ana ang cloud-based PMS. Well, sa local PMS, nag-i siya kaagalingon nga hardware. Oh, aside from the software itself, na po siya iyang hardware. Okay? And then, in terms of internet connection, so, local PMS, din na siya kailangan o internet. While the cloud PMS, um, kailangan siya internet and nag-rely po siya sa high-speed connection. Um in connectivity sa internet, okay? And then in terms of system and access, um, local PMS, um, PMS software and data reside in a server to which multiple terminals are connected. So the PMS is accessed from a program installed on each terminal, okay? While the cloud PMS, the software and data reside in a shared server at the PMS vendor's data center. So users access the system through a web browser from anywhere, anytime. Okay, so local PMS, um, it, it is only accessible kung asa ang terminal na kabutang. Okay? Kung walay terminal nga nakabutang ang uh, nga specific ka area, so dili siya accessible. While the cloud-based PMS, as long as you have your internet, as long, as long as you have your web browser, so you can access it anytime. Okay. Now, in terms of requirement on on-site IT expertise, so local PMS is very needed good ang IT, especially if um kanang maguba ang hardware, so kailangan good nga mo request mo og technician to repair that one. While the cloud PMS, so dili siya kailangan og um technician or IT expertise. Kaya na, um, naaman na siya sa system, so siguro og naalay mga problema regarding sa sa software or sa cloud PMS. So, you just have to email kung kinsa ang creator ana nga system. Okay? So, in terms of advantages, um, local PMS does not rely on an internet connection. It reduces concerns about online data security. A robust functionality of vast amount of data. Ah, okay. While the cloud PMS, less cost of hardware, okay, manajang advantage, no technical and data security, responsibility of owner, affordable subscription pricing, simple quick setup, and then as easy from anywhere, anytime. Automatic backup, integrated web bookings, free system upgrades, and scalable and adaptable. Okay, some of the advantages nila both. And then further advantages, um, local PMS requires complex and expensive hard hardware. Okay, kay, na kailangan mag siya og hardware, kailangan mag siya na siya um, CPU or base para ana nga system. And then unreachable from remote areas. Okay, expensive and complicated to maintain and upgrade. So, time-consuming, software installation, training is, ne is needed. And then, additional cost and hardware needed for enabling web-based features. Responsibility of system and data security is owner's headache and on-site IT expertise is required. Okay, and then the disadvantages of the cloud-based PMS is that not suitable for properties without a reliable internet connection. So, high concerns over online security. Okay, so mo siya ang disadvantages. So, actually, 
mag magdepende gid na sa hotel owners if asa diri ang ila ha avail if kada hangin sila nga nasa built in nga PMS like like na sa like ogalingon nga hardware kay, kay ang ilahang issue is security privacy so mukuha gyud na sila aning local PMS while for those hotel nga dili na ganahan og mga hassle gusto nila og mo subscribe na lang sila gusto nila nga purely online lang well definitely they will go for cloud based PMS okay and then in terms of mark on timeline timeline so local PMS it is a traditional solution while cloud based PMS it is a contemporary solution in terms of pricing so capital expenditure and operational expenditure both for hardware and software and its update and IT experts charges okay so um must ask good ang charges sa local PMS while for pricing in terms of in, in cloud based PMS, operational expenses for renewing subscri subscription. So basically, the expense for cloud based PMS is on pag renew lang niya. So depending na if uh, pila yung avail, monthly ba, annual ba, quarterly ba, so mao na siya. Okay? And also, um, PMS will not just focus on the front office operations only. So, naapo siya yung mga makakover po siya o mga different department. Like, for example, based on the um, pictures presented, PMS has the center. So, naka-access, pwede siya accessible siya sa front office, sa accounting, sa food and beverage, sa housekeeping, sa HRM, and the sales and marketing. So, um, PMS features for front office or the front desk, the, the, the basic um, functions of the PMS in the front office is that uh, it is its function for reservation, okay, registration, accommodation status, um, guest and non-guest account, um, cash handling, mga night audit reports, and other reports needed for the front office operations. In sales and marketing, um, the functions of PMS is that it stores guest database for market segmentation. Um, it stores the guest history, the yield management, the travel agent information as clients, reports for goals, and mga performance evaluation by comparative analysis. So basically, um, sales and marketing, um, it helps determine kung kinsa ang ilang mga target market um they they segment their market based on the traveler like for example mga business traveler mga solo traveler mga family so ila is segment na siya diha sa sales and marketing through the use of PMS and also by the use of yield management so when we say yield management um it controls the inventory sa hotel operations Okay, so PMS for housekeeping, um, it stores the information regarding the lost and found if na nga habilin sa room, the accommodation status if occupied ba na siya, um, vacant ready or um, check out na siya or mga charges niya like laundry charges, mga sewing charges and other charges related in the housekeeping. And then PMS for food and beverages. Mga points of sales, mga material inventory, mga periodic sales report, the standard recipes for P for the PMS. And then, makita po dito kung what type of food a certain guest avail. So, for example, if ni order siya o beef steak, okay, so ma-post na dito sa PMS, sa food and beverage, and then ma-charge na siya directly sa guest, ma-add na siya sa bill sa guest. Okay, and then PMS for HRM department is that um, it records regarding shifts, okay, mga attendance, mga appraisals sa employee. And then PMS for accounts, so those are kind of mga accounts payables and receivables, mga payrolls, mga balance sheet, mga profit and loss of reports, 
mga PMS for communication like outgoing and incoming calls, record with date, time, place, durations, and charges. Okay, so mauto siya ang mga functions of PMS on the different departments. So as you, as, as you can see, PMS is very important since dili na kayo siya hassle, dili na ka mag-manually put down kung sa itong mga charges sa bill, kay automatic na na siya sa PMS. Once you're going to 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 encode or to type in the informations nagikinahanglan so automatically na anagid na siya diha sa system okay so di na kakailangan magukay-ukay di na kailangan manawag ang housekeeping department nga uy nahurot niya ang sud sa mini bar okay kay di na siya kailangan matawag sa front office and then in front office mag -manual, manually pa og suwat atong mga sud sa mini bar Okay, so automatic na siya, na na siya sa system. So, here, I'm gonna show you some of the kanapitang suits sa PMS. Okay, so I am using the Opera PMS. So, here. So, as you can see, mauni siya ang login sa sa system, sa Opera, sa, sa Micro Opera. So, you, you have your own username, password, and then kung unsa ang schema or domain sa Osaka Hotel. The next one is here, as you can see, na asya'y different nga mga navigations. So, exit, reservations. So, kung na ay magpa-reserve, so, dili lang ka mo click sa reservation. And then, if you are the one who is a front desk in charge na ka ron, so, kaniin mo hang i-check ang front desk. So, cashiering, kung na ay money in, money out. Then, room management, kung for example, na ay mag-change of room, so, dili ang ng information. Then, AR, then miscellaneous set up end of the day and then here on the left side um you can see mga reports mga change password mga keys and then date extractions and others okay so manage examples sa system sa opera pms and here mo siya ang information nga makita ni mo when someone is uh, having a room reserved Okay, so name of the guest, Parker, uh, apelyado ni niya, surname, and then yung first name, um, title, kung ano siya nga country, then phone number. So all of their information is being input here. So na ang yung arrival date, pila siya ka night, and then the departure, pila ka adult, pila ka child, and then pila ka number of room, what type of room, and then ang code. So after all the information is being input in this system on in the reservation system and it save ana ni and it okay ana ni na ana code confirmation code okay so ang confirmation code mana siya ihatag dito sa guest para inig abot niya sa time sa yang arrival maputong iyang ipakita okay here another example so reservation gi happen eh okay so na ada rin naka specify iyang name um sa iyang name na kung na siya kauban i-click ni mo ang accompany and then i-input po ang iyang additional name here okay so member type kinama po ni mga membership and then member number okay next one so individual profile id okay so makipakita po diri if how are you going to to create a profile for a certain guest or sa host kung sa hostel na ang gitawag na mo ana is guest folio okay so input all the information needed if if repeated guest na na siya so i-click nimo ang history okay makita na dito tanang information another one is the guest service status so, okay so mo na ni siya makita na diri if dirty ka na nga room so mo na siya ang sakilid mo na ang room number kung sa siya nga room type and then the room status okay makita diri if a dirty pa na siya inspected na ba na siya okay so na po diri ang FO status uh, also siya ikapila siya nga floor na ba siya sa first floor or the second floor and then the room class and the reservation status okay makita gyud siya tanan next one is the in house guest confirmation number so here everything is being inputted here so makita na dire kung kinsa to sila unsa nga room type kuno sa ilang arrival kuno sa ang departure and then ang status okay so mole na siya ang example so for your laboratory activity then I'll be showing you a video discussion regarding the Opera PMS. The topics includes 
log in and log out in the PMS account, creating profile, the reservation, check in and check out. And then after watching the discussion, provide your insights and learning about the video. Okay, so the video is uploaded separately. So dili siya kauban ani nga slide nga akong gi-discuss karon. Okay, so ako lang siya i-upload separately and then along with the worksheet po. Okay? Mga na kong pasensya daan in terms sa pag-edit sa video kay I'm still learning pag sa pag-edit sa video, di pa jugo katigo, pero I am trying my best to 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 give you the best yun para ma-learn mo kung unsa ang system sa PMS. Okay? So I am using the Opera PMS, so dili na siya kaugalingon nga PMS sa sa, sa department, nag-research lang ko so that I can give you a background and information how a how a PMS is being operated, how to create a profile of the guest, how to input kung sa kung ay reservation and how to process check-in and check-out. Okay? So that would be all for this activity. So thank you everyone and I would like to Thank you all for still here, despite for still surviving, despite of the challenge that we are facing today because of the pandemic. Still, you are a hardworking and responsible student. Okay, so thank you everyone. God bless and I will be praying for all of your safety at home. Okay, and on doing all your activities. Okay, so thank you everyone and God bless.